guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be making these lacy socks or stockings with this cute little frilly border. I'm going to be using this True Boo yarn by Lion's Brand, and it's 100% rayon from bamboo, and it's in a size light or size 3, and we're going to be using a 3.25 millimeter hook, or it's also a D3. This yarn was okay. It wasn't my favorite to work with because it kept getting separated or unraveled and my yarn hook was getting stuck in a lot of these fibers. Um, but I did love that it was shiny and it was really soft. You'll also want a stitch marker, a tapestry needle, some measuring tape, and a scissor. So we're going to start by making this toe box and you can see that it kind of just works up into a circle. Um, my circle ended up being around like three inches, but we'll start with a magic circle first. Okay guys, so to begin we're going to make a magic circle. And then we're going to put eight single crochets into the center of that circle. So you will get to experience the joys of working with really small yarn and hooks now. It's a little tedious, but go ahead and make the eight single crochets around and I'll meet you back. So this is what it should look like after you put your eight single crochets into your magic circle. And I like to pull on that loose end here to tighten. And that kind of just closes off that, that circle here. So we're going to double each single crochet around so we're going to end up with 16 single crochets so just make sure you put two single crochets in each of the previous rounds um, eight single crochets there so let's start off by making our first single crochet and then I want to use my stitch marker and this allows you to not really keep count and uh, you can just end up making your way back to this stitch to know that you've completed that round. But if you'd like, you can also um, just keep count and um, make sure that you do 16 around. So just go ahead and put two single crochets in each of the previous rows stitches. Okay, so this is what we should be looking like after we do 16 single crochets. And you can see I made my way back to my original stitch here with my stitch marker. So I'm just gonna remove that and for this round, we're just going to repeat this pattern. So we'll just want to make our first single crochet so that we could add our stitch marker back. So we'll add that stitch marker back in. So we're going to do one single crochet, and then in the next stitch, we're going to do two single crochets. In the next one we're just going to do one single crochet and then in the next we're going to do two so go ahead and repeat that all the way around so that you meet back up with your stitch marker so this is what your finished round will look like after repeating that pattern of one crochet a double one crochet double one crochet double and you'll end on the double. So you'll end up with your last stitch having two single crochets. And we've met right back up with our stitch marker so we know that we're in the right place. So we're just going to remove that stitch marker so we can start working our next round. And for this next round, you're going to want to repeat two single crochets and a double. So let's make our first single crochet so that we could add our stitch marker back in place. So we did one single crochet. In our next stitch, we're going to do one single crochet. And then in our next stitch, we're going to add two single crochets. So this is allowing us to increase our circle in size here. So then we're going to repeat. In the next stitch, one single crochet. In the next stitch, one single crochet. And in that third stitch, we're putting two single crochets into that same stitch. So you'll want to repeat that pattern all the way to the end. 
and you usually know that you did it correctly if you are ending with two single crochets in the stitch right before your stitch marker. Okay guys, so this is what that round will end up looking like. So we're going to want to keep building or growing our circle here. So we're going to repeat doing three single crochets and then a double. So let's make our first single crochet of the round so that we could add our stitch marker. So that counts as one single crochet. In the next stitch, we're doing a single crochet and that brings us to two, oh gosh, you see this yarn? Two single crochets, and then we get to our next stitch, and that will bring us to our third single crochet. And then in our fourth stitch, we're going to add two single crochets into that same stitch. So that's our double or our increase. So then you'll do the same thing three single crochets and then increase, three single crochets and increase all the way around. Okay guys, so this is what that round will end up looking like. So I ended up just doing these three rows of increases and now I'm going to just put a single crochet in each stitch around and that's going to start to um, curve this toe box. So that will bring us to um, fitting around a size like, I wear a size like six to like a seven shoe. Um, if you wanted to increase more, you would um, repeat the pattern of doing four single crochets and then increasing. And that ended up fitting like a size like, it, it fit me, but it was like a little loose, but then it fit up to like a size nine women's shoe. Um, so you can just either increase from there if you need a larger size, but this ended up being like two inches and um, I'm going to work four rows of single crochets. So to begin working those four rows of single crochets, you're still going to want to use your stitch marker just so that you know um, when to start the next row and you know that you're doing an appropriate amount. So we're just going to start with our regular single crochet and then we're not doing any increases for this round or the next rounds going forward. So in each stitch around, just add one single crochet and go ahead and do four rounds of these. Okay guys, so this is what we should be left with after working those four rows of single crochets. Kind of turns into like this little bowl shape. And this ended up measuring three inches for me. Um, so we're going to start to work on the body of our sock and we're going to be repeating this lacy kind of pattern here. So to get started, you're going to want to remove your stitch marker and we're going to work into this first stitch right here. So we're going to start by making a double crochet. And then in that same stitch, we're going to add another double crochet. And we're going to chain one. And in that same space or stitch right there, we're going to add two more double crochets. And this is gonna give us like a little cluster. And we're going to repeat these all the way around so you can see that shape that it's taking here. So we're going to skip the next three stitches. So one, two, three, and we're gonna work into this fourth stitch right here by making another one of those clusters. So we're going to double crochet. And in that same stitch, we're going to add another double crochet. We're going to chain one and then add two more double crochets. So just repeat that around. Um, skip the three stitches and in the fourth make that cluster and I'll meet you all the way at the end here. Okay, so we're coming up on the end of the round here. Um, so this is the beginning cluster that we made and so we're going to start to work these clusters into these chain one spaces. So we're going to just make a double crochet into the space here. And we're going to add another double crochet into that same space. 
and we're going to chain one so that we could add two more double crochets into that same space. So you can see that we're just making cluster on top of cluster here. And we're going to jump over to our next cluster and work into that space by repeating that two double crochets, that chain one, and two double crochets all into that same center space of that previous rounds cluster. And we're going to repeat this until we get the desired length of our sock here. So you're just going to continue to work all the way around and then when you come back to this point you're going to start your next cluster into this space. And so I ended up working to this length which ended up being, let's see, from the tip of our toe around like 11 and a half inches. So go ahead and just repeat making those clusters. It's going to spiral all the way around and make its way up to that 11 and a half inches or however long you want your sock to be. And then I'll show you how to make this ruffle at the end. Okay guys, so let's just finish up the order of these socks. But, but I just wanted to show you a couple of examples of other yarns that I've been using. Um, so this one was uh, kind of like a gradient and it just gives you that fun color change throughout. This one I also made in a larger size. Um, and then you can see on the toe portion here, you can almost see like a ribbing. And this is achieved by working in the back loops when you're going around. So you can have the option to have this ribbing at the toe as well. And then this was just a nice solid blue. So I'm just going to show you how to make this rippled or wavy border to the top of your sock here. Um, so what you're going to want to do is slip stitch into the next stitch here. So we, we did our cluster and we want to jump over to the stitch next to our cluster. So we're just going to slip stitch right here and then we're going to chain up four. Now in each stitch around, we're going to put three triple crochets. So we're going to yarn over twice, go into that same stitch, and now we have four loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through the last two. And then in that same stitch, we're going to add one more triple crochet because that chain of four counted as a triple crochet for us. So this will be our third triple into that same stitch. And we're gonna do that in every stitch around, including that chain one that we did separating our cluster. So it might be a little more um, difficult or tight to work into, but you don't wanna skip that stitch because you want to have an excess of these um, triple crochets so that you start to get this wavy appearance. So just make sure that when you get to that chain one space that you're working three triple crochets into that space as well. And then when you go all the way around you're just going to slip stitch to the top of that chain four. So I know this might be a little difficult to see but this is the original chain of four that we did and then we added two more triple crochets into that same stitch. And then we got to our next stitch and we put the three triple crochets. And then here is that chain one that we did separating our clusters. And you can see that there are three triple crochets in that stitch there as well. So you're really packing them in there. And then when you got to your starting point, which was that chain up of four, you just slip stitch to the top there.